Recent advances in technology now mean that biology is able to tackle some of the biggest challenges in our world. The School of Biological Sciences at the University of Edinburgh is taking a lead role to deliver solutions through its Building a New Biology project. Sharon Thomas went to find out more. Biological science has been studied here since 1695. They're now building on that rich history with a new £100 million state-of-the-art research complex to address the global challenges of climate change, as well as feeding, fueling and healing a growing population. The University of Edinburgh's School of Biological Sciences is consistently ranked amongst the best in the world. It's home to more than 135 research teams with diverse interests, from plant sciences, infection and immunity, evolution, cell biology, drug discovery and biotechnology. It also nurtures tomorrow's talent, training 400 new students every year. So these flower meadows are part of uh, an urban pollinator project led by one of my colleagues. The school's new Building a New Biology project is pivotal to its mission to harness world-class research, modern technologies and new ways of working to address some of today's greatest threats. We face unprecedented challenges in the world today. Changes to our climate, to the environment, reductions in biodiversity, challenges with regard to human health, infection and disease. And I think what we are offered in Edinburgh with the investment is an opportunity to address many of those issues um, by bringing together scientists from across different disciplines to really come up with solutions to some of those problems. In the multi-million pound genome foundry, researchers use robots and automation to build DNA, which is then used to transform cells into biofactories for new products or simply to better understand how cells work. It's faster, cheaper and much less prone to human error. Well, the top 10 drugs, eight of them are biologics, which means that they're protein-based drugs instead of small molecules. So we're engineering cells to produce those drugs at a higher quantity and higher quality, which ultimately means that the patient gets uh, cheaper drugs of high quality. The other part of my lab works on engineering yeast, and uh, instead of making the yeast produce beer and wine, we're making uh, the yeast engineer them to produce things like detergents so that you get better quality whitewashing at cooler temperatures. In the Wellcome Centre for Cell Biology, a group is researching epigenetics, the study of how the information stored in our genes is actually expressed and the mechanisms that control this. Their research provides a great deal of hope for those affected by diseases once thought incurable. Our work has turned out to have far more impact than we originally thought, and that's in relation to Rett syndrome, which is a brain disorder that affects initially children uh, who subsequently require 24-hour care. They do not walk, they do not talk, uh, and that is uh, irrevocable. And what our work has shown is that, in fact, in animals, that profound disorder can be cured. Clinical trials are now underway uh, that could make it one of the first autism spectrum disorders that we can actually properly treat. The school also studies the biology of evolution, how living systems adapt over time. One researcher collaborates with oceanographers from across the globe to better understand the behaviour of huge populations of plankton. Her work will help us predict how plankton might respond to climate change and the impact this will have. You can think of marine communities as being a little bit like a house. Now, phytoplankton are these single-celled creatures that turn sunlight into something edible for things like krill or fish or whales. And you can imagine that if you shift the base of a structure, or the base of a house, the entire structure is going to change. And as humans, we need our oceans to be predictable and reliable. Building a new biology at the cusp of a biological revolution, a new way of working using powerful technologies and combined expertise that will ultimately change lives by finding sustainable solutions to global challenges today and tomorrow.